8 Life-Saving Benefits of Being a Loner in Apocalyptic Times It's the end of the world as we know it, and you feel fine. If you're a loner that is. Surviving in apocalyptic times can be an absolute nightmare for many, but there's no denying that some people have a better chance than others. Being a loner may sound like a death sentence to most people, but it has its advantages, especially when the world is coming to an end. Here is a list of 8 life-saving benefits of being a loner in apocalyptic times. Benefit 1. Resourcefulness and self-reliance. Are you the type of person who prefers to spend a Friday night in solitude with a good book and some popcorn? Congratulations, my friend, you are officially an apocalypse survivor. It turns out that all those years of being labeled as an introverted loner might actually be your ultimate weapon when it comes to surviving the end of the world. Why? You ask. Well, for starters, we loners have had plenty of practice entertaining ourselves without relying on others. While all those social butterflies are panicking and wondering how they'll cope without their Instagram likes, we'll be content with our collection of board games and crossword puzzles. Plus, let's face it, we've already mastered the art of avoiding human interaction and finding creative ways to get things done on our own. But wait, there's more. Benefit 2. Less concern for the safety and well-being of others. Are you sick of constantly worrying about the safety and well-being of others during an apocalypse? Do you find yourself constantly asking, will Karen survive this zombie attack? Well, my friend, it's time to embrace your inner loner because, according to experts, loners are most likely to survive an apocalypse. Why? You ask. It's simple. Loners don't have to worry about anyone else but themselves. They don't waste precious time trying to save their loved ones or form alliances with other survivors. No sir, they're too busy hoarding supplies and making sure they stay alive. And let's be real. In a post-apocalyptic world, that's all that matters anyway. Sure. Some may argue that teamwork is key during tough times, but who needs friends when you have a trusty baseball bat? And a can of beans? Not me. Benefit 3. Selectivity in trusting and associating with others. Surviving an apocalypse as a loner is no easy feat. But hey, if you're picky with whom you associate, you've got a better chance of coming out of the end times alive and kicking. Who needs a team when you have trust issues? First things first, avoid the hoarders at all costs. Sure, they might have more cans of spam than your pantry could ever dream of holding, but do you really want to deal with the possessive tendencies? Just imagine trying to grab a can of beans from their stash and suddenly finding yourself in the middle of a WWE match. Next up on the list, steer clear of anyone who thinks zombie slaying is a good time. These people are either delusional or bloodthirsty, or both. You don't need that kind of energy dragging down your survival strategy. Benefit 4 reduced risk of catching diseases from others. Let's face it, humans are gross. We sneeze, cough, and touch things without washing our hands, looking at you, Carl. In an apocalyptic world where modern medicine is no longer available, diseases can spread like wildfire. But as a loner, you don't have to worry about anyone else's germ-ridden hands or runny nose. 
you can live your best life in solitude without fear of contracting the plague, or whatever new disease pops up. Benefit 5. Reduced risk of becoming a target for violence or theft. While most people are scrambling to form groups and alliances, you get to sit back with your canned goods and enjoy the silence. Sure. You may not have anyone to share a joke with or help you carry heavy objects, but at least you won't have to worry about someone stealing your precious stash of Twinkies. One major advantage of going solo during an apocalypse is that you reduce your risk of becoming a target for violence or theft. Let's face it, when resources become scarce, people can get pretty desperate. But if you're on your own, there's less reason for others to see you as competition. Plus, who wants to mess with someone who talks to themselves and has been wearing the same clothes for weeks? Benefit 6. Low Profile and Ability to Avoid Detection Your low profile and ability to avoid detection might just save your life. Sure. Those extroverted survivors might have larger groups and more resources at their disposal, but they're also more likely to attract attention and put themselves in danger. Meanwhile, you'll be stealthily navigating the post-apocalyptic world like a ninja. Don't be ashamed of your introverted tendencies, embrace them. You won't have to worry about the stress of sharing resources or dealing with group dynamics when you're on your own. Plus, you'll have all that extra alone time to do whatever it is that makes you happy, whether it's reading books or practicing your archery skills. Benefit 7. The ability to move quickly and stealthily. Surviving the apocalypse as a loner isn't easy, but it's not impossible. The key is to be quick and nimble, just like a ninja. If you can move quickly and stealthily, you'll have an advantage over those slow-moving zombies. First things first, get yourself some good shoes. You don't want to be caught in a pair of flip-flops when the undead come knocking at your door. And speaking of doors, make sure yours are secured with heavy-duty locks and barricades. No zombie is getting through that bad boy. Next up, stock up on supplies. Canned food, water purification tablets, and toilet paper. Hey, hygiene matters even in the apocalypse, should all be on your shopping list. And don't forget about weapons. Benefit 8. Quick decision making. Sure. It's easy to imagine yourself joining forces with a group of survivors and fighting off zombies together. But let's face it. Most people are annoying and would probably slow down your escape plans. As a loner, you won't have to worry about sharing supplies or dealing with annoying personalities. You can make quick decisions without having to consult anyone else. Need to raid that abandoned supermarket? Done. Want to set up camp in that abandoned cabin? Easy peasy. You'll be like Bear Grylls on steroids. But being a lone survivor doesn't mean you have to be completely alone. You can always adopt a pet or two. Just make sure they're not zombie pets. So, what are your thoughts on this video guys? I hope you found it beneficial. Please leave your opinions in the comments area below. And thank you for taking the time to watch.